So the budget was announced for Godzilla vs. Kong. Now it's, it's not official, but it's uh, it was announced. It was mentioned in articles. So I wanted to kind of discuss that. So the budget, and we saw this last night in our um, in our stream. We were reading the comic book article, and it said 160 million. And then uh, another source today says 155 million. So this would make this the cheapest in the monster verse by $5 million under Godzilla. Uh, we don't know the budget of Godzilla 2 because it's more of a range. I've seen some say 190 million. I've seen some say 170. Kong Skull was 185. Um, 2014 was 160. I wouldn't worry too much about this, okay? And the first thing that I would say, and some people I think got a little angry on uh, on D-Man when he kind of tweeted the news about it. Um, so, I think the most important thing to realize here is that technology gets cheaper, okay? What can be done with $160 million today or in, you know, May 2021 is a hell of a lot better than what could have been done in 2014. That that's a seven year difference. Six years at the you know, if, if we're gonna consider the delays. You can get a lot better. <laughs> Things get a lot cheaper in that time. Look at how look at how good video games looked set six, seven years ago. Look at how, how better they look now. Technology gets cheaper. It's not something I have to worry about. But I think the environments. Skull Island is going to be filmed in Vietnam, or it has been, I mean, in person. That's the environment. You don't need a lot of CG there, okay? That's your environment. Hong Kong, they filmed in Hong Kong. Again, yeah, the city's gonna be destroyed and there's gonna be monsters in there. You don't need a virtual environment for that. Godzilla King of the Monsters had a lot of virtual stuff, right? They had a lot of that under the underground shots. There was a lot of CG in that movie. Um, a lot of CG environments, not just creatures. That's something that Kong Skull Island didn't have as much as. The only thing that I could think about in this movie is the Hollow Earth. That could potentially be something, do we go down there, that could be pretty, um, you know, CG heavy. So I wouldn't worry too much about this. Because um, again, 155 million, could you imagine a holding $155 million in your hand? Do you know how much you could do with that? At this point, we're talking a matter of $20 million, $30 million ranges here but between these movies. Don't freak out about it, okay? I really wouldn't. Um, because we already have people that have seen the movie that have said the CG looks good. There was a, a guy the other day on Twitter that said the CG's uh, believable. That's all you need, guys. And th there are others making the point that this is good because it m means it's, it's easier for it to make back money. There you go. If Legendary gets that Netflix deal, 20, $250 million, they've already netted a fucking $100 million profit. There you go. And their marketing's been pretty fucking cheap. <laughs> Unless they throw something in the Super Bowl, which in that video I mentioned, which would be really stupid. Um, this is a good thing. I wouldn't worry about this, guys. Chill out a little bit. The budgets, that's a lot of money, okay? Don't worry about it. Uh, just just stay tuned for the next couple days.